Hello students, how are you? In the previous lesson, we solved the questions of chapter 6. And in this lesson, we will continue uh, explanation the chapter question. And uh, here we are, the chapter, uh, the question number 13, which is question number 13. Complete and balance the following equations. أكمل ثم وازن المعادلات التالية. First equation. Uh, KOH or potassium hydroxide will react with HBr or hydrobromic acid. Uh, what will happen? The result or the products are KBr, potassium bromide and H2O. Let's solve this equation on another sheet. Let's begin with the base KOH, potassium hydroxide, plus HBr, hydrobromic acid. What will happen? We knew that potassium is plus one and the hydroxide is minus one. The hydrogen is a plus and the bromine is minus. Where is the cation? Here is the cation. We'll take the anion. So K. B R plus here is H and here is OH H with OH H O H or H two O which is water. The second equation is or B is BaOH by two or barium hydroxide with H three PO four phosphoric acid. What will happen? Will happen is Ba three PO4 by 2 barium phosphate barium phosphate plus water let's move this equation BA OH by 3 let's write it on another way here is the BAOH by 3 plus H3PO4 here is the PO4 and here is the H, H3, 1, 2, 3. Each H hydrogen is positive, positive 1, positive 1, positive 1. And so the phosphate is the 3 minus, because here 1 plus 1 plus 1, 3 plus, and here 3 minus. Here is minus 1, each hydroxide is minus 1, minus 1, and the barium is 3, Plus. So, I have the cation and I, I have the anion. Sorry, the barium is not 3. It's BaOH by 2, which means Ba will conjugate hydroxide and another hydroxide. This hydroxide is minus 1. This hydroxide is minus 1. And the barium is 2 plus. Because minus 1 minus 1 minus 2. And must be plus 2. And the phosphate. This is wrong. Because not BaOH by 3. BaOH by 2. This phosphate uh, has uh, 3 hydrogen. Here is the, NaO, uh, the cation. And here is the anion. But the oxidation state is different. Here is 2. And here is 3. What is the uh, joint number between 3 and 2? Yes, excellent. Must be 6. العامل المشترك بين الثلاثة والاثنان هو الستة. So, this will react with this. I uh, bring the cation, BA. BA is 2 plus. What is the number? Should I multiply it to become 6? Very good. 3. BA3. Because 3 multiplying by 2, 6. And PO4 minus 3. What will the number? Should I uh, multiply it? Okay. PO4 multiplying by 2. Because 3 multiplying 2 plus equals 6. And 2 multiplying 3 plus equals minus 6. 6 plus and 6 minus must be 0. So, I multiply this by 3 
and I, I multiply this by 2 so how many hydrogen 1 2 3 multiplying by 2 6 6 hydrogen and how many hydroxide 2 multiplying by 3 2 hydroxide multiplying by 3 6 here 6 OH and here 3 H multiplying by 2 6 H 6 H with 6 OH 6 H 2 O do you understand so in easy form B A O H by 2 plus H 3 P O 4 equal B A 3 P O 4 by 2 plus H 2 O when I multiply B A by 3 so I will multiply this by 3 and the PO4 by 2 here I have 1 PO4 so I will multiply it by 2 so the hydrogen 3 multiplying by 2 6 and the hydrogen here 2 and the, ox uh, the hydroxide here 2 multiplying by 3 6 how many hydroxide here let's write it as HOH how many hydroxide here 1 how many hydroxide here 2 multiplying by 3 6 so 6 6 hydroxide and 3 hydrogen multiplying by 2 6 6 hydrogen or 6 H2O or 6 HOH is the same thing number C NH3 ammonia plus HNO3 nitric acid NH4 NO3 ammonium nitrate I have the NH3 ammonia plus HNO3 nitric acid the hydrogen will move to the ammonia NH4 plus and with nitrate NO3 minus plus and minus equals zero so NH4 NO3 ammonium nitrate number D two molecules of uh, ammonia ammonia will heat what is the product the product is when I heat ammonia, ammonia will decompose into uh, their gases. راح تتفكك الأمونيا إلى غازات المكونة لها, which is nitrogen gas and hydrogen gas. Ammonia with heat. What will happen? Well, gives me N2 gas, nitrogen gas, and H2 gas, hydrogen gas. How many nitrogen here? One. How many nitrogen here? nitrogen here two so I will multiply this by two the nitrogen is equal here two and here I have two how many hydrogen here three multiplying by two six how many hydrogen here two so I will multiply it by three so ammonia will decompose this by heating into nitrogen gas and hydrogen gas number E number E is FeOH by three or iron three hydroxide قاعده ايرون 3 هيدروكسيد بلس هيت وين اي هيت ايرون 3 هيدروكسيد اي ويل جيف اوف ذا ميتال اوكسيد ويتش از ايرون هير ايرون اوكسيد ايرون هيدروكسيد ايرون هيدروكسيد باي هيتينج ويل جيف مي ايرون اوكسيد اند ووتر ايرون اوكسيد اند ووتر اف اي او اتش باي 3 ويل جيفز مي اف اي 2 او 3 and H2O so Fe OH by 3 iron 3 hydroxide the oxidation state of iron here is 3 plus uh, by heating well gives me FeO but I knew that oxygen oxygen is 2 minus and Fe here is a 3 plus so here is a 3 plus and here is 2 minus so this will here this will move here so it will become Fe 2 or 3 Fe 2 or 3 because 2 
multiplying by 3, 6. 3 multiplying by minus 2, minus 6. Plus water H2O. How many, uh, how many in the straight uh, line? How many iron here? 2. How many iron here? 1. So I will multiply it by 2. How many oxygen here? How many oxygen here? 3. How many oxygen here? 1. Uh, 4. How many oxygen here? 3. 3. Multiplying by 2. 6. 6. Here is 1. And here is 3. How can I make 1, 3? By multiplying by 3. Because 1 multiplying by 3, 3. And 3, 6. And oxygen here. 1 multiplying by 3, 3. Multiplying by 2, 6. The oxygen is balanced. So the hydrogen. 2 multiplying by 3, 6, and here hydrogen, 1 multiplying by 3, 3 multiplying by 2, 6, the, the equation is balanced. So when FeOH by 3 or iron 3 hydroxide by heating will give me iron oxide, iron 3 oxide, and water. Let's move to another question, which is a question number, question number 14. Which types of salts do you know? Give two examples for each. أي أنواع من الأملاح تعرفها أو درستها? Give two examples for each. أعطي مثالين لكل نوع. Let's start with the first type of salts. The first type is a neutral salt. Neutral salt, الملح المتعادل. Happen when strong acid react with strong base to form salt. Neutral salt and water. يحدث عندما يتفاعل حامض قوي مع قاعدة قوية لينتج الملح المتعادل والماء. Neutral salt when strong acid react with strong base to form salt and water, such as NaOH or sodium hydroxide will react with HCl hydrochloric acid. This is strong base. This is strong acid. Strong and strong will gives me neutral salt. Sodium chloride, neutral salt, milk متعادل plus water. The second example is KOH, potassium hydroxide plus HNO3, nitric acid, strong base and strong acid. Strong and strong will gives me KNO3 or potassium nitrate plus H2O. Potassium nitrate is a neutral salt. Let's move to the second type, which is acidic salt, الملح الحامضي. Happen or occur when strong acid react with a weak base. Strong acid react with a weak base. حامض قوي يتفاعل مع قاعدة ضعيفة ينتج لمن القوة للحامض. So his name is acidic salt. HCl, hydrochloric acid, حامض الهيدروكلوريك, strong acid, plus NH3 ammonia is a weak base, strong acid, weak base, NH4Cl ammonium chloride or uh, acidic salt. The second example is CuOH by 2, copper 2 hyd hydroxide, copper 2, the oxidation is 2. كبر 2 هيدروكسيد اوكسيد هيدروكسيد النحاس الثنائي بلس H2SO4 سلفريك اسيد حامض الكبريتيك ويك بيس سترونج اسيد ويل جيفز مي CuSO4 كبر سلفيت كبر سلفيت بلس ووتر كبر سلفيت از اسيديك سولت بيكوز ذا اسيد از سترونج اند ذا بيس از ويك ذا سكند تايب اوف سولتس از Uh, basic salt الملح القاعدي occur يحدث when weak acid react with a strong base weak acid حامض ضعيف react with strong base قاعدة قوية NaOH sodium hydroxide is a strong base plus HCN hydrocyanic acid the hydrocyanic acid is a weak acid حامض ضعيف well gives me NaCN sodium cyanide sodium cyanide سيانيد الصوديوم is, an, uh, is a basic salt uh, ملح uh, قاعدي plus water KOH potassium hydroxide which is a strong base plus HF hydrofluoric acid 
weak acid حامض ضعيف and strong base it gives me Kf potassium fluoride plus H2O potassium fluoride is a basic salt let's move to another question here we have a question number uh, 6 15 classify the following salts as either acidic basic or neutral صنف الأملاح التالية إلى أملاح حامضية قاعدية أو متعادلة I have many types of uh, salts so I uh, I will classify it let's start with NABR NABR is sodium bromide how can I I uh, uh, predict the type of each salt كيف يمكنني أن أتوقع نوع الملح when I dissolve the salt in a water it uh, must give me the acid and the base راح نذوب الملح بالماء عندما نذوب الملح بالماء uh, سوف uh, يعطينا الحامض والقاعدة المكونان له وعند معرفتنا لنوع القاعدة ونوع الحامض سوف نعرف نوع الملح so NABR dissolved in water will gives me NaOH and HBr NaOH is sodium hydroxide which is strong base and HBr hydrobromic acid which, which is strong acid so strong base and strong acid will gives me neutral salt so the type of NaBr is neutral second salt Na2CO3 Na2CO3 When I dissolve it in water it will gives me NaOH NaOH plus H2CO3 and this is 2 Na2CO3 will gives me 2 NaOH and H2CO3 NaOH sodium hydroxide is a strong acid H2CO3 carbonic acid carbonic uh, acid Hamdul carbonic is a weak acid so weak acid strong base which is the strong here the base so basic salt and a2co3 is a basic salt caoh cl caoh cl when i dissolve it in water it will gives me the oh ion oh any salt or any substance will gives me the oh must be basic must be basic أي مادة تعطي الـ OH تعتبر قاعدة so CaOHCl is a basic salt BaSO4 barium sulfate barium sulfate when I dissolve it in water it will gives me BaOH by 2 barium hydroxide which is a strong base and H2SO4 a strong acid so strong acid strong base BASO4 is a neutral salt. Let's continue with NH4Cl. NH4Cl is acidic salt. Why? How can how can I predict it? كيف يمكنني أن أتوقعه? When I dissolve NH4Cl in water H2O, it will gives me NH3, which is the ammonia, and HCl, hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid is strong acid. Ammonia is strong base. Which one is the strong here? The acid. So NH4Cl is an acidic salt. وبهذا يكون NH4Cl هو ملح حامضي. CaCO3. CaCO3. When I dissolve it in water, it will gives me CaOH by two weak base and H2CO3 carbonic acid. Here is um, calcium hydroxide. Calcium hydroxide weak base. And uh, H2CO3 carbonic acid uh, also weak uh, acid so weak acid and weak base uh, CaCO3 neither acidic nor base يعني لا هو قاعدي ولا هو حامضي مكون من uh, قاعدة ضعيفة وحامض ضعيف يعتبر نوع رابع للأملاح ليس متطرق دراسته uh, لم يتطرقوا لدراسة لإعطاكم إياه في المنهج um, maybe in the college ربما في الجامعة سوف تدرسونه له عدة قوانين يعرف نوع الملح من خلال تشخيص هل أيهما أقوى اثنانهما ضعيفين القاعدة ضعيفة والحامض ضعيف ولكن بمعادلات رياضية يمكننا معرفة من هو الأقوى بينهما أو الأقوى بينهما يكون الملح على أساسه so I guess the CaOH by 2 is a a little a little 
سترونج ذن اتش 2 سي او 3 شويه سي اي او اتش باي 2 اكثر قاعديه قليل من اتش 2 سي او 3 بالرغم انه اوذو Uh, although they uh, both of them is weak and weak بالرغم من انه اثنين اثنين اثنان الاثنان ضعيفين بالرغم من انه الاثنان ضعيفين ولكن السي اي او اتش باي 2 القاعده اكثر قوه بقليل سو هي سي اي سي او 3 از ا ليتل بيسك شويه قاعدي دو يو اندرستاند ويك اند ويك نو نيذر اسيدك نور بيس بت ذا ذا بيس از A little, a little strong than uh, the acid. So is a little basic. Here I have the final salt, KHSO4. KHSO4. When I dissolve it in water, it will uh, gives me the H plus ion. And any substance gives me the hydrogen ion, it must be acidic. So KHSO4 is an acidic. Uh, salt thank you for listening have you a great time keep going and goodbye